All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start the process of removing the old handle. Okay, I'm just putting the old handle in the jaw vices right now, in the vise right now, but it, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drill some holes down in here. All right, just about got this thing out of there. So I used a whole bunch of, whole bunch of these, smacked it with a hammer. I even sawed the end of it off here with the hacksaw, but I've burned these out before. This one was, uh, this one was particularly tough to get out. But there you go. Just clean that, clean that all out. But that metal piece right there was what I was banging on to, to push it all the way through. Get that all cleaned up, get it ready to go. I'm gonna try this blue color on here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off of here and then get that label off of there as well. I'm gonna go ahead and sand this upper portion here too. Let's see one that had the sticker on it. And some stuff on that side too. I'm going to paint this lower part, so I'm not going to worry about that, but I'm going to stain this with linseed, so I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and give it a good sanding. Then I'm just going to start with this 80 grit. Right, you can see I got that poly stripped off of there. Like I said, I'm leaving that lower half coated because I'm going to paint it. All right, I got the part that I don't want to paint all taped off. There it is, there's the ax head and the handle painted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stain this with linseed oil. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on this way for the for the fitting on this. You can kind of see this has a fatter part and a skinny part, which corresponds to the eyelet right there. So this is the way this goes. Go ahead and fit that up in there. So that's as far as it goes right now, just by hand. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and shave some of that off. Shave some off right here and shave some off right down here. And I'm just doing my removal right there, as you can see, with this old wood rasp here. So I've been kind of test fitting this too along the way. Okay, now to get this axe head on, I just put this end on the ground on a on a some uh, cardboard, and then I use this mallet and just pounded it on there. You can see using that mallet didn't do any damage to the head of this thing. Now for the wood wedge and these things too. You can see that's a little too wide there so I'm going to just go ahead and cut it about right there.
Okay, now we'll just go ahead and cut that top just above flush. And I'll go ahead and put these pieces in the top. 